channel it's Jill again and today I'm super excited to share with you guys a new video on how to make your very own Spotify music plan for today's vlog you will learn what materials we need to make this very cute DIY Spotify music plan second is how to make your own Spotify codes and lastly, how to make this entire music plaque using your Cricut Maker or whatever Cricut machine you've got. So I've seen a lot of photos on Instagram and videos on TikTok about this new Cricut project and I thought, why not try it myself? I recently discovered that you can actually make your own Spotify code and when you scan this code, it will automatically play or open the song you've chosen. If you're interested, please keep on watching. So the materials we need for this project are the following. First is your frame. I'm going to use an A4 frame for this project, but you can use a photo frame or acrylic frame. Totally up to you. Second is, of course, your Cricut machine. I'm gonna, going to use my Cricut Maker, but if you got the Explorer, that's fine. Third is, of course, your vinyl sheet. I'm going to use a premium vinyl from Cricut because they've got the best vinyl sheet so far that i've ever tried so i recommend that one next is your laptop or computer for your um making spotify code and editing using the design space next is of course your reading tools transfer tape and the double-sided tape for the photo and then next is your six by six photo um, it will depend on you what size of photo you want but I like this 6x6, it fits perfectly. And lastly, your standard grip mat from Cricut. First step is to open your Spotify account. Find the song that you want to use. Copy the URL, like so. And then go to spotifycodes.com. Then paste the URL. It will then ask you if you want to download it. You have to choose SVG file and then click download. Once you've opened your design space, you can start by creating a new project. Then click the upload button and then start uploading your Spotify code SVG file and the template from pocketwonders.com i leave the link down below in the description box for your reference as you might have noticed this template is color coded pink is the size of the frame which is a4 for this project the green one is the size of the photo black is where the spotify code will go red is for the title of the song blue is for the singer's name you can start by adding the names and the date. So for this project, I want to put it on top of the photo. So I'll adjust it according to the size of the photo, which is in this case, the green box. And then just change the font, spacing and the letter size based on your liking. And if you're happy, then just go for it. Next is adjust the position of your Spotify code as VG file to your liking. So in this case, I want to put it under the dates. And then you can now proceed to adding the title of the song and the singer's name on those slot with the red and the blue boxes. So this is exactly how it looks like on your Spotify website or Spotify app. So you just have to follow them to have an exact same look of the Spotify plaque. As you've also noticed, there's a small blue box um, at the bottom of the heart. There you go. You can put the duration of the song in that slot. So for this one, it's 3 minutes and 13 seconds. So that's how it's gonna look like. When you're happy with the design, you can start by removing all those boxes from your template and then turn them into white or black whatever color you want it depends on your vinyl sheet and prepare your Cricut machine just turn your Cricut machine on feed your vinyl sheet with your standard grip mat and start cutting
And now for my favorite part, you can start by weeding your vinyl sheet, making sure that everything is clean and tidy before you use your transfer tape. After weeding, you just have to take out the biggest part of your vinyl sheet, making sure that your decal is left on the back cover of the vinyl sheet. So on this um, part, you should be very careful with the small dots and small lines as to not um, ruin the design of your Spotify plaque. Once you're happy with everything, you can now start applying the transfer tape onto the decal. You can use your scraper to make sure that there's no air bubble and that the decal will stay on the transfer tape. Before everything else, we can now stick the photo onto the frame. Some people want it in front of the frame, some at the back of the frame. It's totally up to you, but for me, I want to use it in front of the frame just to make sure that the colors will stand out and you just have to stick it gently. Next step is to remove the transfer tape from the vinyl from the back cover of the vinyl sheet, making sure that all your decals are stuck in the transfer tape. So for this one, you have to be very patient. And then you can now apply the transfer tape with your decal onto the surface of the frame. So for me, I made sure that the name and the date is on top of the photo and then I just kind of scraped it with tissue because I think that when you use the scraper, it kind of leave a scratch onto the decal. So I normally use um, tissue paper for this kinds of project. And then carefully remove the transfer tape and making sure that the decal is left onto the surface of the frame. And that's all you need to do to make this very cute DIY Spotify music plaque. So I'm very happy with how it turned out and I hope my husband will like it too. So that is it for today you guys. This is my final product and my husband is not yet aware about this one. So it's gonna be a surprise for him. So I hope he's gonna love it. And yeah, if you have any more questions or recommendations that is related to making this DIY Spotify music plaque, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give me a like, share, and subscribe to my new channel to get notified every single time I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoy and see you next time. Bye!